Hey, welcome back guys. It's me your host Ali and you're watching Grow Positive. So in this video, I will tell you how you can make professional logo for your YouTube channel or for anything by using Photoshop CS6. And I will tell you easiest method and by using this simple method, you can make professional logos. So without being said, let's get started. So first all you need to do press Ctrl and N and it will open a new sub menu for you. And now set your width to 1000 and height 800, resolution 72. Color mode RGB and color mode RGB and background contents must be white and then click OK it will make a new project for you. And now all you need to do you need to create a new layer, select black color from over here, click OK and now you need to choose this tool which is polygon tool and now make a polygon shape over here and now press Ctrl and T and adjust its size, adjust its position as you want by holding shift adjust its size so it maintain in its position and now click ok so now all you need to do is press control by holding control select layer 1 and background layer and then select move tool and first click on this little icon which is at second and then click on this icon which is at second last and now it is in center so now all you need to do Select layer 1 and press Ctrl and J and make a duplicate of layer 1 and now press Ctrl and I to invert this layer and now press Ctrl and T to transform this layer to adjust its size and now by holding Alt and Shift make these little, little borders just like that and then click OK and now once again make a duplicate of this layer press ctrl and j and it will make a duplicate for it and now press ctrl and i and to invert this layer and now once again press ctrl and t and it will be and it will give you an option to adjust its size and now by holding alt and shift make this shape a little bit smaller than it just like that and then click ok and now give these layers name 1 2 3 so it will help us for better tracking Alright, so now all you need to do, left click on layer 1, go to blending options and now go to gradient overlay and now choose this preset. And yeah guys, I will give all of my gradient preset is in my description, you will be able to download it from my site. So go ahead and download these gradients first and then you will be able to make this properly. Alright, so select this gradient preset and then click OK and now check that reverse box. And now click OK. Do that same thing on layer number 2. Go to blending options, go to gradient overlay and choose the same preset which is this one. Click OK and just do not click on reverse box this time. Click OK. So here you can see it made a frame for us and now left click on layer number 3, go to blending options, go to gradient overlay and select this preset guys. As I told you, I will give everything that you need in this video is in my description. You will be able to download it from my site. After selecting this preset, click OK and set its style to radial. Raise its scale a little bit like I set it to 111. And now go to inner shadow and set its angle to 90. And now make its size a little bit bigger just like that yeah 73 will be better and then click ok and now we had successfully made our frame now all we need to do we need to put our image or any icon that we wanna place on this frame if you wanna do that then go to file and go to place and select that image that you wanna place on it I'm gonna place this dragon Alright, after placing it, click on the tick icon. So now all we need to do, left click on our image, go to blending options and now go to outer glow and make its size a little bit bigger just like that. And now click OK. Now it's time to add text on our image. If you want to do that, then select text tool and make a little box for your text and type anything that you want to type in it 
and yeah guys if you want to download this font i'm using batman forever if you want to download this font then i will give the link is in my description and you will be able to download it from a site as i told you so there's a lot of method to add text on your image if you want to add text on your image you can place it simply like that one but which is much easier but if you wanna add it just like me by using this bar then all you need to do first remove this simple text and create a new layer from over here and select black color and now you need to choose this tool which is rectangle tool and now make a little bar by using this rectangle tool just like that one and now press ctrl and t adjust its size adjust its position as you want all right now we need to cut its extra part you can see right here at the right and left we need to cut this extra part if you want to do that then zoom your pictures so you can cut it easily and now select this tool which is polygonal lesser tool which is at third number and by using left button of your mouse cut this picture these extra parts just like that After selecting your area, click on delete and it will delete that extra part. And now do that same process on the other side. Alright. So if you want to deselect this selection, then press Ctrl and D, it will deselect that selection. And now go back to zoom out and left click on your layer one, go to blending options, click on gradient overlay, and we need to choose that same preset that we choose on layer number one. And now click OK check that reverse box click ok and it will make a bar for us as you can see and now it's time to add text on our bar as i told you i'm using batman forever text you can download it from the description all right that's better you can change its color if you want to do that then left click on your text go to blending options and now go to gradient overlay and now select this preset that we choose on layer number three and then click ok and now choose inner shadow and choose the shadow color white click ok and now go to stroke and make it size to one just like that so now everything is done guys our logo is ready it's time to add background behind our logo if you want to do that then Select your background layer from over here and then go to file, click on place and choose any image that you want to place. Alright, so our logo had successfully ready guys. So that's the simple method how you can make professional logo. You can also make better than it. I just made it quickly for you guys. I can also make better than this one. If you want to learn that one then make sure to smash that red subscribe button which is underneath that video and, and yeah as I said let's see if we can hit 12 likes on this video so that is for today as always peace love and unity and I will see you later.